Hey, good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome back to another live stream from the Retro Engine. Uh, just this time, we'll be looking at some games from Alf Ying Yingvi. Now, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce his name, but that's pretty close. Um, what I'll have to do is you've seen the description where you can get the games and his name as well. And I really should Google it to work to work out how to uh, uh, you know the correct correct pronunciation so all right let's just check everything's in order um on the on the emulator yeah so i, I was looking around and because obviously the this year there'll be another competition i think it's the last one or well, next year 2021 a shoot 'em up construction kit uh, competition, which, uh, like I say, it's the last one. So I thought I'd have a look around for games that are actually, you know, made within there. And I found this guy, Alf, who I played one of his games for the last competition, and I thought I'd have a look at what else he'd done. And funnily enough, he posted um, the first one I'm going to play is one from 2012. And it's called the player never, D the player dies at the end, and it's kind of like a fir first person shooter, shooting zombies and stuff like that. And it's looking at it, you wouldn't think it was a shoot 'em up construction kit game. There's so much e extra within it. Uh, so if I bring that up, yeah, what I do is load from the tape as well because. You just load from disk. It just goes bang and it's there, which is all right if you if you want to play it quickly. But this is kind of showing what it looks like using the tape loader. So you get like the loading screen, the anticipation of playing it, like the olden days. Uh, I mean, even the disk isn't that quick because obviously it's a uh, 1541. There is a turbo load on it on the disk version if I remember rightly um, so you can pick and choose which one you want so yeah so this is the player dies at the end first person shooter shoot zombies you can shove the zombies out of the way depending on what angle you which direction you press the joystick you had a fair amount of fun on it actually this is this was released in 2012 here we go, so it's, they're all custom loaders. Most of the shoot up construction kit games are. Um, so you've got the music, the scroller, it tells you how long it's going to be before it loads. And the music's always cool, pretty much. Uh, it's by Richard Bayliss. And Martin Piper did the tape turbo load. Chip, how you doing? Hope you enjoy it. And I, um, I do drone on a bit. I've got like a droney voice. But hopefully, you'll find something that you're interested in. It's good to have you all. Yeah, I mean, there's a shed load of shoot games oh there we go that's finished so that wasn't too bad here we go so the player dies at the end 2012 so again music by Richard Bayliss quite a sparse front end compared to a lot of them bearing in mind now I mean this is eight years old this is almost becoming retro as it is, and it's modern retro. So yeah, you rec 
recognise that from the actual, um, you know, from the default souk shoot up construction kit without any extra code that goes into the front end. So right, let's let's tr let's play a shoot up construction kit game that isn't technically a shoot up. It's a first person shooter. Okay, so up top left, top right is aim. Left and right is shove. So that's our hand. That's just shoving. So you can shoot upwards by pushing up. Uh, and the, those fly things, whatever they are, are chucking stuff down. Oh, we've also got zombies there, so shoot them as well. And they're lobbing. I don't know what they're doing. Are they lobbing zombies at us as well? So, do that. get rid of that. Get rid of him. I'm not quite sure what that black thing is. With a shot off to the left hand side. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that. That just killed me. Nice trees there. Bit cold outside actually, but this will soon warm you up with the shooting and the running. Yeah, it's like they're chucking down half of a zombie. Oh, oops. I think that was a lifeguard. Oh. Okay, so it doesn't centre itself, you have to do that. Oh. Oh, shot his head off, oh, I like that. Oh, and his arm. Oh, he's dead. Oh, come on. Looks like the sun's coming up actually. Oh. Oh, somebody else. It looks like Jack Black. Oh, I died. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, graphics aren't too bad. Music's cool. Let's try that again because I feel I can get further. Yeah, it doesn't. If you move left, if you move up or like up, you get the gun. If you move left to right, you get the hand. And I don't know what that is. I don't know why that. You have to be super quick and like kill the zombies before they do anything. But then the zombies flying down from them flying things. I like the little, I like the little characters there, the little zombies. So yeah, you have to centre it and then it'll Oh move left or right, yeah. See that? No, dunno. you don't actually get a score either. It really is just the distance you've travelled. Oh, bollocks. another game. Yeah, I don't like that. You press, keep pressing fire and it will just like, do, 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 straight through into the game again. Let's 
I think this is probably one of his early ones to be honest. It's you know, it's like I say, it's eight years old. It's a nice Christmassy or even Halloween kind of game. Oh that's it, I've done my Halloween video. That's it, I don't have to prat around looking for any more scary games. This is this is it. To be honest, yeah, I'm not one for Halloween either. Cannot stand Halloween. Don't know why. Maybe something from childhood, but I just never got on with it. I like horror films, I'm not squeamish or anything. But God, you know, it's just like all that trick or treat, you know. I mean, maybe it's good for the kids, but... Well, not, not at the moment, not with Covid, but... It's just weird. Yeah, somebody said, is this Les Left for Dead on the 64? It is, isn't it? Oh, I can't see the chat window properly, it's covered up a little bit. Now this gets... Um, yeah, the more you play it, the more you kind of concentrate. Yeah, the more you play it, the more you're concentrating on playing it, you're not looking at the graphics, so they all kind of blur out. You just see movement, and it is pretty playable. It's a bit difficult to get used to the controls, but yeah, I look like that. So like I say, the link will be in the download, it'll be in the description, because I'm not actually sure, it's the spur of the moment what I'm playing. I'm, I'm going to play three, so there's two more from this guy, from ALF, but I... We'll pick, yeah, okay, I'll pick this one next. Cool. That's what happens when you've only got one system. Is... Oh, one good thing as well is about the... Uh, super sil Silverfish, which is like, quite similar to a Silkworm. But if you want to put it on tape yourself, you can use this. There's a program provided called, um, well, Super Silverfish Tape Master dot D64. And I'm guessing from that screen there, you know, you can load it into a 64 and then save it out onto your own tape, which I thought was a really good idea. You know, so you can make your own inlay and have it all looking good on your shelf. And let's have a look. Uh, so yeah, so if you're a tape geek a bit a bit like me, then that's really cool. Okay, so Super Silverfish tape version loading. Oh, hi everyone that yeah that's joined as well. Hope you're all doing well. <laughs> Looking at these uh, these games, you can see that there's a lot of like modern history behind Commodore 64 games and Spectrum games, but in this instance, you know, and the, the amount of stuff that people can do with the shoot 'em up construction kit is amazing. There you go. Mm. So it's Richard Bayliss again. Does he never stop? Is that all he like? Is he just got all the time doing it? It's like he doesn't take a break. Oh, hang on. Haha, <laughs> got a vice error. Can you see it? No, you can't. Sound buffer overflow. Let's just get rid of that then. There's always technical hitches, it's just, it's mental. But that's part of the fun. Because if I was just playing this on my own, I'd be like, yeah, whatever. So, let's see, hopefully, yeah, boing, that's come up. And I haven't seen that ever before, so I don't know what that was about. Won't have any sleepless nights. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, construction games <clears throat> are like a construction set within a game, like Boulder Dash. I think I reused that. I can't remember. I think on the Amiga I used Turbo. One of the Outrun, one of the not Outrun. What was it? It was uh, Lotus Esprit. One of those had a track designing course, kind of. And I used the quill on the Spectrum. But on the 64, I tended to program and do some graphics, so I didn't really uh, use the, you know, the uh, construction kits within the games. hopefully get the music in a minute so yeah this is super silverfish and it's a, it's similar to silkworm new dimension I think that means actually yeah there's no loading music on this one that's interesting Yeah, they're all worth a download. I mean, half the time I just can't play them. That's what it is, you know. And you might find that something that I don't particularly get on with, although that doesn't happen often, might be something that you think is a brilliant game. I'm also trying to stop the, glass, the reflection in the glasses on the laptop. I think I need my head about there. But then I'm kind of looking down like that. It looks weird. Feels weird. But yeah, I do streams every uh, well every now and again, like Commodore 64, Commodore Amiga, ZX Spectrum. And I think I'm thinking of probably not doing so much Amiga, um, simply because I'd, I really only watch demos i didn't really play games so yeah the spectrum and the good old commodore 64. right okay so that's finished and we press space so this is a more modern game uh it is oh there's no year on it Okay, so front end of music by Richard Bayliss. So the front end is an additional code you wouldn't get in the default vanilla shoot 'em up construction kit. Uh, and then we've got Alf that did the game design graphics and general idea. Sound effects off. I don't know, I can't remember what the. Oh, hang on, it's joystick. Okay, left and right is sound effects on and off. Okay, so I'll put them on. I don't know if the music plays constantly, but let's have a try. Well, oh, I can't hear much sound from that. Did I turn it off before I started it? Yeah, it should be playing. Should be playing music. Uh, sound. Anyway, I'll keep playing. This is the silent movie version. Jeez, there's a lot going on. God, these graphics are really cool. Yeah, you can see how he improved, can't you? This has got to be a more modern game, probably this year, last year, maybe. That, oh, power up. Oh, power up. Okay, that's gone. God, there's, load, there's shitloads going on. Okay, sound effects on. Uh, yeah, it should be okay. Hmm, don't know. 
I mean technical fucking hitches. Excuse my French. Try it toggled on the other one. God, it's a definite knack to playing these. I'm guessing this shoot the floor ones. Oh god, I'm right under. I got further when I was playing it before. Because this one I did have a go on before, like about a week ago. And they come on that side as well. I think this is the one that people have said is really hard. So maybe I'm doing really well. Maybe this is like the furthest anyone's ever got. Right. So it said sound effects off. What I'll do, I'll try the disc version. Don't think it's an emulator problem. Disk, right, let's try that. Actually, yeah, the, it's the bottom screen, it's weird. It's like doing that, you see how it disappears. Hang on, there. Oh, shit, I'm knocking everything off. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's from down there rather than up there because that's quite dark, but it's it's weird. It's like yeah, it's definitely there. I spent ages trying to. You see, you can see the shadow. I spent ages working out where the best position was for all this kind of stuff, and it was just these. Right. Okay. So that's. Yeah, desktop audio is not being recognized by the streaming software, so what can it be? What can it be? Oh, are you kidding? Well, there you go. For some reason. some reason the emulator wasn't doing anything with the sound. Okay, so this is 2016. So let's do uh, let's press fire. So yeah, we got uh, intro rich Richard. good presentation in these these games these the more modern games uh, shoot games okay so I'll have one more go with the sound effects on and this time playing this time playing and through the thing through the stream right oh, okay so it's music all the time looks like and cheating that one. I'll stay down here, but I'll let they're not oh god, I can't believe I did that. If I stay down here. Yeah, no, that is a good game, and I can get a bit further, but the vibe's not with it at the moment. So yeah, that is a pretty cool game. The third one that I was going to show, because there will be more than one part, because he's got like another, maybe, well, there's at least one more, which, uh, um, at least one more and then there's a whole set of them so there's like six or seven 
there will definitely be part two. And I might make it longer, I don't know. I don't know what the best... Oh yeah, you're right. Of course I did. Got a sound where it just... And I didn't reset it, did I? Oh. Okay. Technical support. Thanks. <laughs> no, that's brilliant. Yeah, I... Would not have... Well, I didn't remember that anyway. So, the third one, yeah, is split second redux. I need to sort that out. In the, uh, it's weird out at certain times. I reckon I've got something running in the background. I need to shit out, it? Uh, let's just get the uh, split second redux up. running it's really slow actually it's um it says it's 19 frames a second hmm there's some cloud bullshit going on somewhere Say bye to that. <laughs> and bring it up. I just want to see what's running because it's there is something going on. This is why recording a video is sometimes easier. You don't have any technical stuff going on, but that was what makes it more fun. Start, uh, start again later. Right, so yeah, Split Second Redux was... It was released with the Reset 11... Reset Magazine 11. So what you what you get is like you get that game, you get split second Redux, and then you get about five or six others, which you'll see in a minute. Uh, we will use IRQ Fast Loader, I think. And then from here, you can choose what you want. So yeah, there's Reset. Uh, reset 11 intro and greet, split second redux, and then there's a load of other stuff you can play as well. So I'll put split second uh, redux on. So that's loading. It's got some nice music as well. I can't believe I didn't remember that sound error that came out and then oh, it's like wake up, wake up, come on. I hope you're enjoying it anyway. It's pretty it's pretty neat seeing these games to be honest. I'm chatting about the uh I'm going to have to have the chat in a different position so I can read it properly. Yeah, yeah see there's something definitely affecting it, I'm sure there is. Oh, it's flipping i7 as well. It should, and it's got 16 gigs, so it's not like it's struggling in that respect. Maybe it's yeah, maybe it's an emulator setting. Anyway, this is split second from that from the retro reset magazine. By Alf again and we've got Richard Bayliss doing the music and sound effects. So 
the time world wars are over, but, but a new war has begun. Aliens from another universe are taking over human minds and bodies, turning them into an invasion force. Joe Rubicon is not ready for this fight. Time warp injuries have made him unstable in space-time. Wow. Any shock can cause him to divide into two identical selves. It happens in a split second. Double or nothing three. That was quite theatrical, that bit. Oh right, oh good god, I've got two of them now. Well that's cool, one of them shoots forward and then the other shoots the direction that you're shooting in. It's really responsive as well, I like this. Obviously it's like commando, but it's not, it's like completely unique. Grass kills him. Vertical shooting up, shooting, shoot him up. energy for that guy so they've each got independent energy as well oh I see you can if you keep pushing left oh bollocks keep pushing left they merge they merge together like in the same so you can get up the uh, the vertical skinny bit that makes sense Game over, version 1 and version 2. <laughs> so they are independent, kind of. I like that. Right. So we'll listen to the music a little bit, because this, this one is really good. Oh, pal, yeah, if you're still on, I was loading from a uh, disk drive with one of the games but the rest were tape loaders I think the disk drive was the uh, was split second redux from the reset magazine right. when you touch that he splits Anyway. Yeah, really distinct graphics. Good 3D effect. Pretty difficult. There seems to be a lot going on the screen at the same time. Can't go back. Uh, can't go back if that blue thing's in the way. Whoa, whoa. 
Yeah, I bet if you look on CSTB for Richard Bayliss, I bet he's got like three pages, five pages worth. Especially music. Yeah, that was cool. I enjoyed that. Um, yeah, well, I think that's it. That's three of the games out of the list of about... Like I say, there's probably about another six or seven from ALF. Uh, I'll try and sort out whatever the thing was, bit with the sound and everything buggering up again. But, but that was from... Looks like that was from the emulator. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And... I will put up the um, the schedule for the next few shows, so there'll be ZX, Spectrum and Commodore 64, uh, especially with ALF's shoot 'em up construction kit stuff. Uh, so yes, yeah, so hope you enjoyed watching and thanks for joining, thanks for joining in the chat and see you next time, bye.